by let's take a look if you click the uh, box below all my information is there if you want to reach out for a private reading my email is there please reach out December special is on phone readings 50% off they're gonna be $55 instead of 100 for an hour. So as long as you book through December, you can use it anytime. Um, the slots are feeling, filling up quickly. My head is spinning. I'm so grateful. And I love, love, love getting messages out and helping you lovely, lovely people. But the calendar is filling up quickly. So if you want a phone reading and get in on that special, contact me. Also, I'm on Instant Go, Water and Fire Tarot. Uh, sometimes something dirty or bad will come out of my mouth and it's a slip. It really doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. And if that's the case, just go ahead and click off now. If not, let's take a look at your love lives and get going. I'm using the Rider Weight here for your 10 card Celtic spread. And I'm also going to clarify using the Crystal Visions deck for lovely Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, December 1st. Through December 15th, I want love messages only for Gemini, please. What's coming in for Gemini in love? These cards were shuffled very well ahead of time, and we are set to go. Here we go. Let's take a look. I'm going to lay out your spread, and then we're going to talk about it. Hi, Gemini, showing up in the middle of your reading. Love it when that happens. That's pretty badass. Oopsie, I've already slipped there with a bad, naughty word. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what's coming in. How you see yourself right now, Gemini. External to you and your environment. Hopes or fears. And most likely outcome for Gemini. All right, let's take a gander. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have the moon energy, major arcana for Pisces. Some of you guys might be in your feels a little bit, might be really honing in on your intuition. There could be some secrets, some anxiety, some things that are just hidden that you don't know about. We're going to clarify and see what is up. Okay, I'm going to lower y'all just a tad there. All right, let's take a look. Let me look at this before I open my big fat mouth. All right. All right, you guys. So with that moon energy overall, again, major arcana for Pisces. Might be some secrets, some things you guys aren't real clear about. I just got to throw it out there. Now coming in, hi, making a big fat appearance is Gemini with the lover's card, major arcana. Some of you guys are in love, right? Others of you are making some type of decision when it comes to matters of the heart, having to make a choice right? Sometimes lovers can indicate cheating and that kind of thing, but normally it's in the reverse, but not always. We're going to clarify. So you're right here in the middle of the reading, Gemini. Again, obviously a love situation, a very strong connection. You might feel like it's a soulmate, twin flame kind of thing. Now what's challenging right now, this lover's card, is the high priestess. Again, more Pisces energy, major arcana for Pisces. All right, could be secrets. Sometimes the high priestess is very tight-lipped, quiet, silent, mysterious. She's a secret keeper, okay? So, and also highly intuitive. So coming in right now, we have some mystery here with this moon and this high priestess. Again, a lot of Pisces energy, and it has to do with a very strong connection or having to make some type of decision or choice. Okay, now what's on your mind is the two of cups, more soulmate energy, a lot of soulmate twin flame energy in here. Okay, this is a strong connection and partnership with that two of cups. Could be water, doesn't have to be, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Again, a lot of Pisces. Okay, but that's heavily on your mind. It's crowning the reading. You have a very, very strong connection with somebody. Okay, but they may be a little bit closed off or keeping things in. Now, the recent past, we have the tower. So, boom, major arcana for Scorpio, something big. It could have been, it could have been a huge shakeup that really rocked your world, an epiphany, an aha moment, something big, right, that rocked the foundation here, okay? And it could be some type of secret. 
or something that you're really using your intuition on. And I say that too because in the foundations of the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo, we got a lot of Major Arcana here. Now, the Vir uh, Major Arcana for Virgo, the Hermit could be, you could be dealing with somebody a little bit older. Sometimes the Hermit is an older kind of, somebody that seeks a lot of wisdom, has a lot of knowledge, but the energy of the Hermit is to go within, right? Sometimes seclusion, isolate themselves a little bit. They're trying to gain some type of wisdom, some type of guidance. And the way that these cards are laid, it's interesting because look, the Hermit is shining the lantern right on the High Priestess. So it's all about using your intuition, but also to maybe trying to reveal what is remaining closed off or mysterious. Okay. And it has something to do with a big shakeup in the past. Regardless, there's a very strong connection here, but somebody's a little bit withdrawn or isolated. Okay. Now coming in, we have the seven of swords in reverse, better in the reverse, right? This is y'all's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody may get caught doing something that's a little bit shady, right? Also, too, it's no longer deceiving yourself. Um, somebody may want to apologize. They may feel guilty about something. You may have isolated or they're isolating right now. Okay, I'm getting a lot of intuition. The moon and the high priestess can both be high, high intuition, and so is the hermit. A lot of going within, okay? Now, you see yourself as the five of cups. You guys are sad about something. Um, you're in your emotions, you're in your feels, five, the challenging number, this is having some regret, living in the past, disappointment, not realizing you still have some cups to offer or receive, right, and because you're the five of cups, feeling some type of loss or sadness, you're going within, now external to you, so the person you're thinking of, so external in your environment is the ace of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, a passionate new beginning, okay, we'll clarify, do they want a passionate new beginning with you? Or did they have a passionate new beginning elsewhere? Sometimes that Ace of Wands can be, it's passion. It's a new beginning. It's sex-based. It's action. Okay, this is in your environment. Now, your hopes or fears is the Two of Pentacles in reverse, trying to regain balance. Also, too, the Two of Pentacles is dropping a burden. In the upright, notorious player, right, juggling people or ideas or, or money or that kind of thing. But in the reverse, it's dropping a burden because you're trying to regain balance. So are you hoping that somebody drops something here? Are you wanting to drop something? The most likely outcome shows the Six of Swords. This is you guys again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, moving on, right? Swords are all about our mental energy. So it's coming to some type of resolution in our thoughts, in our mind, finding something out and then able to kind of leave trouble behind. It could literally be moving on from somebody or literally moving home. Whatever you guys are going within here with that hermit energy, you're going to come out and you're going to move to a calmer place, either with or without this person. We'll clarify and see what's going on. Again, very, very strong soulmate energy in this reading. All right. Universe spirit, clarify this reading for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? What does Gemini need to know about their love lives? December 1st through December 15th, 2018. What do we want Gemini to know what's coming in? Love, messages, and energy for Gemini. This deck was also shuffled very well. I always like to get the energy moving, though. We'll do some shuffling here. Show me Gemini in love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs of Gemini. December 1st through December 15th, 2018. All right, we're going to cut it and do it. Here we go. We're doing it. Picking up and doing. All right, let's check out this moon. Overall energy moon, major arcana for Pisces. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We have five major arcana, big changes going on in the next couple weeks. Why is the moon here for Gemini? What's this moon energy? Why is the moon here, please? For Gemini, Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, completion, emotional fulfillment. This is the family card for me, right? Yep, yeah, right? Happy home, happy family, happy dog, hamsters, whatever. Everybody's happy. It's a family card. Can't get better than the Ten of Cups. But around that Ten of Cups, there is some anxiety, perhaps, some sadness, depression, or things that just are not revealed, okay? Now, in the past, we have this tower, sign of Scorpio, a big shakeup, some type of epiphany, an aha moment. Why is the tower in the past for Gemini? What's this tower energy? Why is the tower here? 
five of swords in reverse. Maybe somebody came in, communicated something to you, and wanted to clear the air. Swords are about communication, mental energy. The five of swords in reverse is clearing the air, hashing it out. No longer dealing with manipulation or mind games. Mind fucking and that type of thing, okay? Could have been something, a big shakeup, and you guys were just like, mm -mm, I'm not dealing with this bullshit, okay? Whatever it was. Or maybe you guys hadn't heard from somebody in a while, and they suddenly came in, you weren't expecting it, and it cleared the air in some way here. But you guys still see yourself as pretty pa uh, pretty sad, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Coming in, we have the lovers. That's you guys, Gemini. Having to make a choice, a decision, a very strong soulmate connection, being in love. Why is the lovers card here for Gemini coming in right now? Why is the lovers here? The ten of wands. There's a love situation, obviously, that's causing a lot of burdens. Another 10, another completion, all the major arcanas. You guys are going through big cycle changes here in your love life. All right, some type of choice or decision coming in right now that is stress. It's pressure. It's worry. Um, it is just a lot. Feeling very, very worried and stressed out about something here with this lover's card. It has to do with a choice. Feeling trapped. All right, so the high priestess here is the challenge. Sign of Pisces again. Uh, somebody might just be closed off, right? Not not really opening up about something. What's this high priestess? Secrets, that kind of thing. Why is the high priestess here? Six of wands in reverse. Challenge is going to be is going to be to get victory and success could be from a Pisces or just from somebody that's keeping secrets and remaining very tight lipped, closed off, right? Not getting the attention that you deserve in this situation on your mind is the two of cups. You guys feel a very, very strong connection here. Why is the two of cups on Gemini's mind? The four of wands. Yeah. Look at that for a lot of you guys. This is a marriage. It's a long-term commitment. You guys have a very strong connection here and you want to take this to the next level. Some of you guys might li live together. Four of Wands is all about stability within the home and celebration. Very, very strong tie here. Now, in the vir in the environment, the foundation here is the Hermit, sign of Virgo. Why is Hermit here for Gemini's foundation? Why is the Hermit here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Could be some money issues for you guys. A lot of Virgo energy here in the foundation. Going within, maybe a little bit isolated, either you or the other person, about how to get this new beginning off the ground. You guys clearly want it with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, right? But somebody's having to make a decision here, and somebody's kind of withdrawn a little bit, going within to see how to get this thing back off the ground. Big shakeup in the recent past, okay? That's causing you guys or the other person to go within. Now, coming in, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse coming in for Gemini? Why would they experience the Seven of Swords? Seven of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Somebody's very guarded, defensive, walking their own path here. It could be that you guys find out something here with the Seven of Swords in reverse, and you're going to be very, very guarded, or this person is very, very guarded with that Seven of Wands, highly defensive about whatever went on here. What is the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here coming in? Ace of Wands in reverse. Leo Sag Aries energy. Ace of Wands in reverse can be the energy. It's just a lack of passion, a, a lack of a passion in the beginning. But it's also um, something that starts quickly but ends quickly. It could be sex only. So maybe somebody, you know, stepped out of the relationship here and you guys are finding that out coming in. Somebody's going to be very guarded about it. Now, you guys see yourself as uh, Five of Cups, sad, right? How, feeling a loss of some sort, living in the past a little bit. Why is the Five of Cups how Gemini sees themselves? Why is this Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? The Two of Cups again. Damn, strong soulmate energy in this damn reading. In fact, I'm going to title it Strong Soulmate Energy in this damn reading. Just kidding. You guys are feeling very, very sad because something has really made you go within and try to figure some stuff out. It was a big shakeup. You feel a very strong connection. And that's why you're sad right now. That's why you're the five of cups because it's hard to let that kind of soulmate twin flame energy go. There's been some uh, rough times here. Now, in your environment, this person that you're dealing with is the ace of wands. Why is the ace of wands here external to Gemini? Why is the ace of wands here? The world's in reverse. See, they want a new beginning, too. There's a lack of closure here. You guys want it. They want a fresh start here. 
okay? But for some reason, until you guys clear up the Seven of Swords coming in, somebody's really guarded, okay? And it's it's stopping the new beginning from happening. One of you doesn't want it, all right? Or is hesitant about it. You're withdrawing a little bit to figure out if you want to get this passionate new beginning. And then they want the passionate new beginning, and there's a lack of closure. You guys have unfinished business, probably because it is a twin flame soulmate energy. Now, most likely outcome shows the Six of Swords moving on to calmer waters, coming to some type of peaceful resolution. That's your energy, Gemini, right? Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords in the outcome for Gemini? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ace of Cups. Hi, Ace of Cups. Resurgence of love, right? It's also self-healing, okay? Healing a situation. So in the outcome, Gemini, you guys are coming to a resolution. Six of Swords. So before people start getting in the comments, trying to tell me how to read tarot, Six of Swords doesn't always have to mean you're moving on from somebody. It can also mean you've come to a resolution. Your mind is at peace, right? You've come, you're leaving the choppy waters with somebody behind. And I asked why Ace of Cups. And also too, by the way, Ace of Cups doesn't have to be brand new love. Ace of Cups can be a resurgence in a relationship. It can be also very self, self-healing energy, healing energy as well. So in the outcome, Gemini, it shows that there will be progress, a peaceful resolution and a resurgence of love with that Ace of Cups, okay? For a lot of you, this is a family situation. Um, you're going within whatever you're going in with about how to get this new beginning off the ground, okay? It is in the reverse right now, in the foundation. But as you move through, you can see the person external to you, they have a lack of closure. Big ass, strong ass, soulmate, twin flame energy, and that's why it's coming back together in the most...